DM Clint here, D&D for the kids, and this is a quick Roll20 tip on how to enable your 3D dice. I got a lot of questions about this in the last game, so let's get into it, shall we? First of all, I'm going to pull on Hudson's character, Robin, and Robin is in the kitchen. And let's say that Robin was tasting some food and needed to make a constitution save because there was... It wasn't cooked or something. So let's make that constitution save. If we go over here to our chat window, we'll see there are the results of uh, Robin's constitution save roll. We didn't see any actual dice, so let's take care of that. We're going to go up here to settings, my settings. And down here, we're going to put a little check mark right in front of enable 3D dice. I'm not sure if I had had this enabled by default or not, but if. Uh, if you don't have it enabled, go ahead and enable it. Um, I think that that's useful as well. So now, uh, Rob's going to do so. And there go the dice. Looking good. And of course, it's set to automatically roll with advantage, so we get the two. However, if you come over here to the chat, you can see what the first roll was, so that way, if Robin did not have advantage on that roll, uh, <laughs> it's not looking good for her. Looks like she's going to be spending some time at the Yawning Portal Privy. Let's hope that you spend some time having some good gaming online in the coming weeks. Good luck, great gaming, don't forget to be awesome.